actually uh, this roti chanai recipe we have actually uh, decided to uh, upload because uh, uh, one of our niece who stays in uh, London who resides in London UK requested for it uh, Premila Armugam this is for you and don't forget to watch until the end there's a special treat for Rana Ashwin it's known as Roti Pum Mm. Nice. Very tasty. The sardine gravy and the dal is really goes well with the roti chana. Wow, that looks good. Hello, hi. Hi. Wanakam. Wanakam. We meet again. Today we have prepared this uh, all-time Malaysian favorite. Uh, this is a food which uh, dish which uh, most Malaysians eat for breakfast and sometimes for tea time in the afternoon or in the, I mean in the evening or for supper. This uh, flat bread known as roti chana in Malaysia fondly called uh, referred to as roti chana in Malaysia it's a flat bread you see you can see this it's a flat bread you know? uh, it's a very fluffy soft crispy flat bread uh, 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 which is made from plain wheat flour with uh, adding adding some little bit of sugar and some salt and uh, fermenting it for a while and then uh, uh, flattening it and cooking it on a frying pan. You will see the recipe uh, following this. Okay, let's try this. It's very soft and crispy, very tasty. It's a homemade. This is dal. Chanai. This is just plain dal ka, ka, ka curry. Tempered with some of the spices, uh, it's awesome. Mm. Mm. Homemade roti jana is the best. It's, it beats all the other roti janas I've tasted. If you don't believe me, go ahead and try this recipe. We'll List down the ingredients this time in the description uh, area. Check it out. Check out the video on the processes on how to make it. This is going to be like a like a full scale uh, uh, tutorial on how to do roti chana. You would have never seen this, and we have got, we have we have also I've also we have also explained some scientific terms involved in making roti chana, which a lot of people uh, really are not aware of. Uh, so check it out. You like, you definitely like this. Try out this recipe, and you are going to love it. The people you love, your children, your husband, your mother, your father, everyone in your house, your friends, they are all going to love this. If you really, after trying this out, if you love this recipe, share this recipe. Take the link and share it with your friends so that they also can enjoy good roti chana at home. Flat bread. I mean, this is a flat bread. Uh, outside Malaysia, they call it paratha. Uh, so uh, in Malaysia, we call it roti chanai. Okay, it's it's a local uh, Malay term uh, which, which uh, for uh, paratha. So it's roti chanai. Don't forget to try it and don't forget to subscribe, press the bell button, comment, and share it with your friends. Okay. Have a good time. Thank Ciao. You. Take six cups of uh, all-purpose flour and uh, add a. Uh, 3 quarter teaspoon of salt to it. We'll add about a half teaspoon of uh, sugar, granulated sugar and mix it well. Uh, the sugar will actually help to create a, a nice looking uh, golden brown color when we pan fry or cook these uh, flat breads. Add one medium sized egg. 3 tablespoons of evaporated milk. This evaporated milk 
will add some very nice okay. flavor to our flat breads. Okay. We will now mix all these ingredients together so that it gets blended well into the dough. Today we are not adding any oil or fat into our roti chanai dough when we are mixing it. Adding any form of oil or fats will break down the gluten strains in the dough to become short. In fact, this is how the term shortening came about. While the dough becomes softer, it becomes less stretchable. So if we add any form of oil or fat into our flour, then the gluten strains will become shorter and it will become difficult for us to stretch our dough when we make the flat breads. Once we have blended and mixed the ingredients evenly, add 2 cups of mineral water. In bread making, especially uh, flat breads like parathas and roti chanai, gluten is exceedingly important to stretch our dough to the maximum. The science in pan bread making. When we mix water into flour, gladin and glutenin, the two proteins in the wheat flour combine and form gluten. If we don't add water, then gluten will not be formed. Think of gluten as the miraculous net that holds our dough together and gives the dough its unique texture. The more the dough is mixed, the more gluten will be developed. Let's work on the dough. The dough is slightly softer and does not have the needed consistency for the flat breads yet. Never mind. Let's work on it. <laughs> what I'm doing now is I'm getting rid of the bits and pieces of dough stuck to my finger back on the main kneaded dough. Once the dough comes together, bring it to a round shape and rest it covered for about 10 minutes. When the 10 minutes is up, we will work on the dough for about 15 minutes. I am now dusting the dough with an extra tablespoon of flour. Uh, this is to make adjustments. Not all 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 purpose flour have the same consistency in dryness. The dryness of the flour will differ according to climate, storage and what maturity the wheat is harvested. So we will maintain our recipe as 6 is to 2 flour and water and add flour according, accordingly to get a stretchable and pliable dough which does not easily stick to our hands when we work on it. Like what I said before, the more we work on the dough, more gluten will be formed and the dough will become easily stretchable. We'll poke deeply into the dough and check whether uh, our hand, when our hands come out, it's, uh, the dough is sticking to us and bounces back. If it bounces back, uh, then the dough is, is in good, good uh, uh, condition for flat bricks. The consistency is very nice. Okay, uh, see if this dough is a bit too big in size, we can always uh, divide them into two or three parts and work on it and then later on uh, we can go back to putting it together and work on it again. Uh, I am now stretching the dough and folding it and stretching and folding it so that uh, I am working into the dough and kneading it uh, in such a manner that so that more gluten is formed. Uh, anyway, uh, please do not get carried away and overwork the dough as the moist in the dough can escape resulting in the dough becoming too tough. Yeah, 
side. Just pull, 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 and then stretch and bring it together and hold and work it, work on it. Uh, about 10 to 15 minutes will be just nice if we do it this way. Once we have uh, smoothened the dough, uh, what we are going to do now is we will divide this dough into 12, 12 uh, smaller portions. You can do it uh, by actually uh, cutting the dough using a kitchen knife or follow the method I'm using. To push out the dough using our palm into somewhat like a perfect ball shape requires experience and a bit of skill. You may also try this method. It may take a while to perfect it. But if we don't try, we won't know uh, whether we can do it or not. It's very simple. Just pinch some dough from the main dough, put it into your palm, push it with the other hand through your uh, index finger and your palm and press hard and the ball will come out already formed like a rounded shape. Yeah, it's like that, yeah. Just press it. Uh, this so easy. Watch closely how I do it and uh, you can also do it. I'm sure you can do it. Give it a try. Yeah, just pinch some from the main door, put it into your palm, push it with the other hand through your index finger and your thumb. Beautiful, you see? It's round. And yeah. Okay, take a bowl and put some about maybe about five tablespoon of oil in it. Uh, you can use uh, margarine or butter. Uh, we are going to now smoothen the, the dough with the oil. Okay, I'm using just plain cooking oil. Uh, uh, we will uh, we will smoothen all the dough uh, with the oil and uh, keep it covered uh, for at least about uh, six to eight hours before. Uh, we start to uh, you know, flatten it uh, and or flip it uh, to make the flat breads. Okay. During my younger days, due to my uh, passion for cooking, I used to do a lot of odd jobs in restaurants and bakeries. Uh, one of it was being a uh, flatbread or roti chanai vendor. Uh, you see, flipping a uh, roti chanai dough uh, is, a, is a trade which, which comes to experience uh, roti chanai vendors. It takes a lot of skill and a long time to achieve uh, good flipping skills. Uh, we, uh, as, as a housewife or a homemaker, homemaker, we don't need this type of skill. The idea is to achieve of a, a, a flatbread which is uh, fluffy uh, crispy and soft uh, i will show show you all a method on how you all can achieve that uh, it's it's much more easier okay it's already about six hours since we prepared our uh, roti chanai dough so now we start the process of making the flatbread as we are preparing our roti chanai in the, our home uh, most, most of us will not have a, a very big uh, table top area to flip the roti chanai and, uh, and stretch it out. So uh, our roti chanai is a bit different in the sense that uh, we are doing it, uh, we are going to do it on a uh, flat uh, tray. Okay? Okay. We will use this uh, ever single tray. Uh, 
this is about uh, diameter of about uh, 50 cm, about uh, one and a half uh, feet, about uh, 20 inches. Okay, you can uh, use either the, uh, this size or this, uh, square one or any any, any flat tray. Uh, okay, uh, of, of this size, uh, which is available in your kitchen. Uh, we will use this is the tray we use the behind of the tray that way. Okay. We are now going to uh, stretch the dough on top of this. Okay. The dough, press it down. Some oil, some oil. Okay. Pack the oil nicely. Be careful not to puncture any holes in the door. Okay, hold it up and just shake it and pull. Okay, hold it up, shake it and pull. Okay, hold it up and shake it and pull. Okay, just hold it up, high, 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 and then. Shake it and pull. Hold it high up. Shake it and pull. Shake it and pull. Okay. Shake it and pull. Okay. Okay. You see, it's the 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 dough has been stretched to its max. Okay. Stop. Okay. Apply some butter. Once you have stretched it, apply some butter. Okay. Okay. Some butter. Okay. Try some butter. Then pull up and carry up one end like this. And the other end, we are going to fold. This. Okay. And then we're going to fold this in. Okay. And then we're going to carry this up. Okay. And roll it. Okay. And then the end we are going to push it in. Okay. And next one. When we have stretched and uh, made ready about five or six doughs, we can then uh, press it down to size. Okay, just do it like this, press it down to size, to the required size and then we can just uh, put it on the on the skillet or, or a frying pan to cook it. When we have uh, cooked and fried the first batch of uh, 5 or 6 of the flat breads, I mean the roti chanai, we need to immediately fluff them. Uh, the way to fluff them is to actually, uh, you know, give it a hard bang on top and then uh, bang it from side to side and from top to down uh, with your with your palm. Uh, your, your, with the heat which comes out will make your palm very hot. Uh, just clap your hands very hard to release off the heat from your palms. You have seen me do the flat bread on this large tray. Uh, I'm going to show you another trick which is even more easier to do the flat bread. I mean the roti chanai. Uh, okay. We will we'll remove this flat tray. Okay. And, uh, we are going to use this. Okay. This is the normal ro rolling board. See the rolling board we use uh, for you know the rolling pin. We use for doing chapatis. Okay. Okay. Uh, 
we are going to use this uh, to do uh, roti chanai. Okay. okay, we are going to pour some oil on this board. Okay, spread the oil on the board. Okay, so that it uh, doesn't stick the dough doesn't stick to the board. Okay, now you take on one dough. Okay, one dough. See the trick is uh, we, because we have a very small uh, area to uh, make the flat bread. We are going to now make this dough into two small parts. Okay, like this, two small parts. Okay, and then we keep one aside. And then we start to actually uh, okay make it flat now. Okay. Just lift it up and pull. Lift it up and pull. Okay. Lift it up and pull. Lift it up and pull. Okay. So it's moving because it's slippery. It's okay. But uh, just flatten it as thin as possible. Make it as thin as possible. Okay. Okay. Make it as thin as possible. Okay. Okay. This is how thin it can go. You see, it's really very thin now. You can you can you can actually see my finger through. See, it's, it's already very thin. Can I show you again? You can see my finger through. So it's very thin now. Okay. We have already stretched it to the maximum. Okay. Stretched it to the maximum. This is half of the one roti chanai dough. Okay, a fork or a spoon with a rounded edge, and then we're going to actually make some cuts, very thin cuts. Okay, okay. Then we will pour some oil on top. Okay, okay. And then pick it up. Okay, pick it up. Okay, put it all together. Okay, roll it and put it aside. This is this is actually half of half of flat bread. So we can put this aside and we'll take the other half. Then we actually flatten this other half. This one I'm doing to show you all for people who don't have a large tray or a large space to actually flatten the dough. Okay. For those people, you can just in a very small space you can do this. You can you can try this method. Okay, just do that. Okay, just do that. Okay, do that. Okay, do that. Do that. Okay. Okay, don't panic okay. when holes appear when we pull and stretch okay. the dough. You see, it's already flat. It's already very thin. We have stretched the dough to the max. Okay, so now now we apply some oil. Okay, okay, we applied some some oil on it. Okay, take one round edged uh, fork or spoon. Okay, it's the end of a fork. Okay, round edged. Okay, then we are going to actually make some cuts, very thin cuts. Okay. Very simple. Make thin cuts. Okay. Then we're going to we're going to okay pull it up, pull it up. Okay. Pull it up. Okay. We're going to pull all this together. Okay. Make it into one. And then we now we are going to take the earlier one, the earlier half we did. We're going to take this and join together. Join this together. Okay, we're going to join these together, and now we got a full flat plate. Okay, size. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to let this rest for about two to three minutes before we uh, fry it on the pan. Okay, our okay. uh, three minutes is up. We will start to flatten the plate now. We're going to flatten this to our desired size. 
the size which we prefer okay okay flatten this okay okay and then we're going to take this and put it in the frying pan okay Let it cook for a few minutes. You can, you will be able to see. You will be able to see that it's cooked underneath here. Okay, then we'll flip it. Okay. Now look at this. The sugar we added into the dough has started to work. You see, you can see very beautiful golden brown. All these are golden brown. See, okay, it's working very well. Okay, we just uh, turn this, turn the bread, keep turning it for a while, so that all the sides are evenly cooked. Uh, if we leave it stagnant, stagnant like that in the same place, uh, if the heat is only on one side, then only one side will get brown like this. Just now you see I didn't turn it because the other side was uh, too soft to turn. So only one side got, has, has got the golden brown. Now actually, uh, if we keep turning it like this, okay, just keep turning it like this. Okay, we'll flip back again. Okay, we'll flip back again. Okay, wow, look at that. It's so beautiful. Okay. Uh, you see, we kept turning the bread when it was uh, cooking the flat bread, the roti chanai when it was cooking, we kept turning it. So everywhere, evenly it's cooked now. You can see the beautiful golden brown color all around the bread. Okay, this is how you should do it. Just keep turning it. Okay, don't press hard on it. Don't press hard. Just with the tip of your spatula, keep turning it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's really hot. Okay, now we're going to bring it over to the rolling board. Okay, what we are going to do now here is we are going to uh, fluff this. Fluff this. If we leave it just like that, it will be it won't be fluffy. So what we are going to do is we're going to fluff it. So what are you going to do is with you a bang on top, and then crush it, crush it like that, crush it like that, and crush it on top, crush it on top, and look at that, look at that, look at that. Wow, look at that. Oh, okay, look at that. Look at how fluffy it is. Beautiful. Okay, beautiful. Okay, this is how a flat bread known as roti chanai or paratha should come out like this. Very fluffy, soft, and crispy. Okay, all right. Awesome. This flat bread is really awesome. Okay, uh, the surprise awaits us. Uh, my our our son and our daughter-in-law here. They they have agreed to do the food tasting for us. Okay, all right, that's good. Okay. Now we are going to prepare another of our Malaysian roti chanai special. It is known as roti bom. Okay, uh, roti bom means uh, roti bom means uh, bom flat bread. Okay. Boil on the on the plate. We will spread the oil around and then uh, take a. Take a dough, take one of the doughs, press it down, press it down, okay. okay uh, we press down the sides first, okay, in the middle, okay, press it down, uh, okay, then. You can do this, good, but uh, I know most of you cannot do this. Uh, it's, it's even me who have done this before, I find it difficult to do it nowadays because I have not practiced it. Okay, so this, uh, you know, flipping the dough needs a lot of practice. So we are not going to do that. Okay, so what you are going to do is, you are going to stretch the dough. Okay, you are going to stretch the dough. Okay, pull it up and stretch. Okay, pull it up and stretch. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Pull it up and stretch. Stretch the dough to the maximum. Okay, it will be slippery because due to the oil on the on the tray. But we'll do it slowly. Try not to. Create any punctures in the in the in the in the dough. 
okay put it to the max okay 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 for this uh, roti boom we are going to need some butter usually when you buy in the shops they will prepare it with some margarine but here i am going to use some butter okay uh, Okay, then you use some butter. Okay, this yes. butter. an awesome flavor and taste to this one and then when it put too much okay just nice and then we are going to actually sprinkle some granulated sugar okay we're going to sprinkle some granulated sugar okay after that uh, we're going to put some oil little bit of oil Okay, when we put the stove ready, okay, okay, okay now, okay, fold it, fold this up, fold this up and fold it, okay, and then fold it this way, okay, so now we have folded it, okay, and then pull it up, pull it up this way, and then we are going to make the circle, okay. Okay, that's it. Okay. Okay. Once you have made that, once you have made that, okay. Uh, you are going to take this. You wait for the wait for the uh, so, uh, the skillet to get heated up. Put some oil on the skillet. Okay. Okay, now we take this roti bomb we prepared and we just put it there. Okay, don't don't press it or anything. Just put it there. Uh, it should look like a a bun there. Okay. okay. Let's check this out. Okay, the skillet. With a spatula, and then turn it gently. Okay. And let it cook. Okay. Put the stove on low fire. Okay. This and throw it in the skillet. Okay. Let's try and see. Okay, yeah. Do it in very slow fire. Okay. Must be in very slow fire. Only okay, then the dough will cook. Okay. If the heat is too high. We will burn the flat bread. Okay, so put the heat to the lowest minimum and uh, let it cook slowly. Okay, okay. Don't press on the dough uh, as it cooks. We want to get a, 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 a bun like high high rise texture. That's why they call this a bomb, roti bomb. Okay, now we flip it. Okay. Wow, look at that. Beautiful golden brown. And we'll flip this also. Wow. Okay. Uh, we will keep turning it like, like how we did to the uh, normal uh, teacher knife. 
keep turning it so that this roti bowl okay keep turning it uh, it can be eaten with some gravy or sambal or even some jam or uh, chili sauce or tomato ketchup uh, you can eat it with anything or you can the best way to eat this uh, roti bowl is eat it just like that without uh, any other side dishes it will taste awesome Okay, flip it again. Wow, look at the sugar. Wow. Wow, look at that. See, there must be enough height in the roti bowl. Okay, look at that. Wow. Okay, now I'll bring it over. Okay. Okay. The roti bomb is ready. You should try it. But this is thick, creamy, and tastes really nice with this paratha. Very nice. This roti chana really tastes good. It's soft. At the same time, it's crispy.